Hello everybody, a quick update before we get into the readings. We are now at 55% on the Reiki Apprenticeship Program. Thank you all so, so, so much. And now on to the reading. Hello there Libra, thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of January 30th through February the 5th. I had to think about what month comes after January. <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> All right, so Libras, what we have coming up for you on Monday is the Knight of Cups in reverse. The first thing that I heard when I looked at this card is a dud date. <laughs> so some of you are going to be going out on dates and just when you come back home, you'll just be thinking that was just a dud. I could have done without that date. Uh, Knight of Cups in reverse, though, can mean some other things. And so for some of you, it's going to mean something else. For some of you, it's just going to mean that you're feeling kind of pessimistic about uh, a romantic relationship that you're actually in or that you would like to be in. And for others of you, this is going to be you feeling kind of pessimistic about people in general and people's goodness in general showing up on Monday. Now, Tuesday, we do have the Hanged Man showing up in reverse. The Hanged Man in reverse is actually a pretty happy card. This just means that there was something that had you feeling like you didn't know how to move forward with it. And now whatever that something is, you have figured out, okay, this is how I can move forward. This is not so tough. Um, you may have had to do a little bit of meditation or really think this through to get to that point. But um, definitely a happy card whenever you find that solution. All right, so Wednesday, Libra, Ace of Coins, some kind of gift or of finances or of material goods coming to you when you have the Ace of Coins. So this just means that, you know, this I've had this card come up when people won the lottery. I've had this card come up for birthday gifts. I've had this come up for just gifts out of the blue. So this is something that you receive that is not necessarily earned or deserved. It just comes to you. Now, on Thursday, you do have the Queen of Clubs showing up in reverse. Queen of Clubs in reverse. I feel like, Libra, that this really is talking about something that you are um, doing or a part of this personality that maybe you are um, exhibiting, I guess is the word that I want on Thursday. To me, the Queen of Clubs, when she's in reverse, because when she's upright, she's really sunny and cheerful and positive. To me, when she's in reverse, she's kind of the opposite of that. She's really feeling down and blue and just not so happy, maybe even a little bit despondent or depressed. So this is just talking about kind of coming into a little bit of a lower energy vibration on Thursday, Libras. So watch out for that. If you feel yourself heading for that, you know, try to focus on something that's going to make you feel a little bit better than whatever it is you're focusing on that's helping you into the nosedive, okay? All right, so looking at Friday, what we have here is a Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords just tells me that there's some kind of conflict that's coming up for you Libras on Friday. And it's interesting because as I'm looking at this card in the camera, as I'm talking to you, what I'm hearing is that this is an inner conflict for you. So it's not so much a conflict with people who are outside of you or people that you're interacting with as much as it's a conflict within yourself about um, what is the right way to handle some kind of situation or what is the right thing to do in a situation that you're dealing with on Friday. Now Saturday, we've got the Seven of Coins coming up. The Seven of Coins, it talks about that there is some kind of situation that you've invested in, whether you've invested finances, time, energy, effort, uh, resources. You put that into this project expecting that at some point there would be some kind of payment that would come back to you from that. And so when we see the seven of coins show up, this may or may not be financial. It may be emotional. But you have that payback actually showing up and coming back on Saturday. All right, so let's look at Sunday. Here you do have the king of clubs showing up in reverse. This is someone you're interacting with on Sunday. And this is, when I see the king of clubs in reverse, this is talking about someone, doesn't have to be a male, can be a male or a female. King of clubs in reverse to me is talking about somebody who 
normally is really a great problem solver, but for whatever reason, he's he or she is feeling a little bit stumped on Sunday. And I think that this person may be using you as a sounding board or trying to get ideas from you as to um, things that they can do to help themselves navigate through whatever this is that they need a solution to. Okay? So that is your week, Libras. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here this week for readings, some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, and then the rest of you back here on the next video. Everyone have a great week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no donation. Donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually, I was looking with I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But, so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate 
and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send. Not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise, I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there. And I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you, everybody, who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.